Okay, I'm ready to uh, try them assemble them together. Um, like I told you in my previous studio that uh, video, that uh, I usually make the lid a little bit wider so you can see that it's not a perfect fit yet. But uh, after trim, uh, they will fit uh, nicely and perfect. So I will first uh, trim the foot and then uh, flip it over upside down and then trim a little bit here, remove some clay. Okay, um, for general trimming, I usually use my number two, uh, which is uh, shorter, so that it doesn't vibrate or get easy to get chatter and mark. Okay, so I first uh, trim the foot. Okay, sounds right. And then I'm uh, gonna 
ตัวนี้กับไซดังงานมาทุนดูรีมส่วนนั้นเราลิดแค่ฟิตไทเทลี่ฮิร์ส์โซ่ไอคุณได้เป็นทริมเราลิดไรท์ออนท็อปของบ่าริ So uh, so far I was using the uh, number two trimming tool to most of the trimming job, but uh, to make a knob look nice, um, I'm using my number three. So it will go and fit right under here. So it will cut a nice groove. So the uh, finger is easier to to grab on the knob and pick it up.
so done with the uh, map trimming and I'm gonna put some chattering texture right here So done with the uh, trimming. I'm ready to assemble the spot. Okay, so now I'm trying to uh, fit the uh, spout. I'm using my number seven uh, knife trimming tool to uh, to shave up uh, the uh, spout, so it will fit uh, perfect. Okay, so there's one other trick that I want to show you. Uh, so after I shave most of the clay off, there's still a little bit of a gap. Uh, I usually get a, a hacksaw blade that with a little teeth there. So I'm just using the, the little teeth to remove some uh, more clay. So it's like a fine tune so that the uh, the joint will fit better. Just use the teeth of the uh, hacksaw blade to remove some of the clay. Okay, so it's about is the most fitting, and uh, I'm gonna use the uh, needle to draw go along the uh, joint, so that I know where I need to punch the hole for the spout.
Uh, sorry, I just find out that my uh, camera on my iPhone is uh, full with the uh, storage, so I have to free it up. Uh, so I sum up the uh, when I join the uh, spot that uh, I'm missing the the video. Now the spot has been attached. Uh, so anyway, uh, just to show you the final product that uh, I'm making, because uh, I already missed the. Uh, the video that I thought it was shooting okay so uh, now I'm ready to uh, attach the handle for the bamboo um, I just uh, rolled out the uh, coil and then uh, I bend it and let it uh, dry a little bit so I'm adding applying slip over the joint I'm putting a drip of water there right by the joint. And maybe use a mine stamp to uh, compress the joint. So this, this will be the uh, tip I look like after I uh, put, put on the uh, bamboo handle. So it's a little bit uh, bigger, uh, but uh, after the fire it's going to shrink a little bit more so it will fit uh, nicely there. Okay. So this is the uh, finish with the bamboo handle and uh, what I uh, had what I did is the uh, after I carefully cut out the uh, spout and then um, I punch holes right there uh, where the joint is on the inside you won't be able to see it now uh, and then um, I get a sharp knife and just cut out so the spout is a little bit of an angle. Um, on your angle, uh, the left hand side is a little bit lower than the right hand side. So, because I throw the I threw the uh, spout, so the spout during the fire is is gonna turn the way you you pull it. The clay has memory, so uh, it's gonna turn the uh, clockwise way. So. Uh, if I leave this part a little bit higher, this part lower, and then that after fire they would twist back, so it will be straight. So that's the the reason why I cut at an angle. So so this is the uh, finish um, bamboo handle teapot with a lot of uh, uh, rolling uh, roller texture on it. 
Okay, thanks for watching.